Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to bring you some title about championship boxing on the PC. What if promotions? And it's a clash of kings. It's light heavyweight champion Joey Maxim defending his title against Jake LaMotta, the middleweight champion, in a what if promotions. Can the Bronx Bull wrest away the title from the Ohio native Joey Maxim? Halloween night, 1950, Yankee Stadium. Let's touch gloves and see what happens. It should be a classic. So here we go. Joey Maxim enters the ring. I'll be actually playing the strategy for Joey Maxim, while Jake LaMotta's strategy will be chosen by the title bout championship boxing sim engine. Joey Maxim enters the ring in this hypothetical matchup, which never took place. Halloween night, 1950, Yankee Stadium. It's a crisp night. 73 victories, 16 defeats, 4 draws, 19 by stoppages. He'll face the Bronx Bull, the middleweight champion, who will try to wrest away the light heavyweight title. Jake LaMotta, 78 wins, 14 losses, 3 draws, and 28 stoppages. 15 rounds. Again, I'll be playing as Joey Maxim, Jake LaMotta, the Sim Engine, Yankee Stadium. The announcers, are Johnny Addy, the referees, Ruby Goldstein. In case of rare incident stoppage, it's a draw until 50% of the bout is complete. Then they'll go to the scorecards. We're going to go with three judges on a 10-point must system. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Mandatory eight count is in effect. These are the rules we're playing with, whether they existed or not at the time. You can never be saved by the bell, and the referee or the ringside physician can stop the bout. The judges are Artie Idella, Tommy Hart, and Dick Young. The analysis. Maxim, a boxer, has a control factor of a 12 versus a boxer and an 11 versus a slugger. Lamada, the middleweight champion, is a pure slugger. He's a pure aggressive uh, aggression fighter. Not much power, but he'll try to wear down Maxim. It's going to be tough. As you can see, both fighters la lack power. Tremendous endurance for both fighters. Defense, tremendous edge by Maxim. He's a minus six. Hand speed goes to Lamada slightly. And tactical skills, how well you fight the bot that you've trained for in the corner asks you, goes to Jake LaMotta. Let's get to the fight at Yankee Stadium. 15 rounds of boxing for the light heavyweight championship as Jake LaMotta steps up to try to make history. Yankee Stadium. And here we go. Let's go to the corner view. Both fighters are in the ring. They get their final instructions from Ruby Goldstein. There are no questions for the chief seconds. They say they're all set. Goldstein says, touch gloves, come out fighting. Both fighters go back to their corners. We wait for the bell for round number one. And we're going to go... Maxim is a boxer. Lamont is a slugger. We're going to want Joey Maxim to fight outside defensively and wear down Lamont, hopefully, on the way in. So we're going to confirm that. And here goes round number one. And there's the bell, center of the ring. Both fighters sizing up. Maxim throws first. He misses. Lamada trying to bore in. There's the jab. Two snapping jabs from Joey Maxim. Lamada comes right back with a left right. Still ring center. Maxim misses with a hook. Lamada comes forward. A minute 30 left in round number one. Big left hook misses by Mac uh, by Lamada. Counter one two by Joey Maxim. A right hand misses by Lamada. A minute left in round number one. Maxim throws a left hook and misses. Action ring center. Maxim digs to the body. 
A left to the body and an uppercut to the head. 30 seconds left. It's been Maxim's round so far. Lamada presses forward, misses a right hand, and Maxim counters with a 1-2, and there's the bell. Joey Maxim, a tremendous effort in round number one. The fans are loving it here at Yankee Stadium. So let's go to the unofficial scorecard of Mark E. Elwood. He gives it to Maxim, 10-9. So that's going to make the Maxim corner quite happy. Ray Arcel says, keep pumping that jab, Joey. Maxim can fight equally effective on the inside or the outside. Again, not much punching power. Physically strong fighter. He also fights at heavyweight. And we're going to continue with fight outside defensively. Hopefully we wear down LaMotta. And the, our larger size might even end up TKOing Jake before the 15th round. We'll confirm that strategy at ringside. Our good friend Collectaholic. Check out that wonderful channel. Let's go to the LaMotta corner. I've assigned Joey Ferrer yellow and Lou Duva. And they're saying you got to get inside and rough them up. All right, here we go for round number two. Before we go to round two, let's look at some punch stat numbers. 30 punches in total landed by Joey Maxim. He was very active working off the jab on the inside. He used the hooks, quick combinations, and snapping uppercuts. For Jake LaMotta... He only landed seven punches. Very difficult time for Jake as Maxim totally controlled that round. We prepare for round number two. As Maxim continues to work outside defensively, they tie up. Lamata tries to rough him up. Goldstein breaks him. Some blue birds. Lamata again trying to get off first. But it's Maxim working the jab. Two straight jabs snap Lamada's head. And again they tie up. Maxim forces him back. They break. And Lamada lands a crisp 1-2 from the outside. And another crisp 1-2. Lamada getting his hands off. Maxim comes inside, works the body, and snaps an uppercut to the head. Left hook misses by Lamada. But now the right hand lands. Close round here. Lamada lands another 1-2 combination to the head. 30 seconds left. A better round for Jake Lamada in round number two at Yankee Stadium. Action ring center. Left hook misses. Maxim does not counter. Maxim piling with the jab. We're coming up on the bell, and there's the bell as they tie up, and they rabbit punching. A good comeback round in round number two for the Bronx Bull, Jake Lamada. Go to the unofficial scorecard. And Elward gives round two actually even. Wow, he gives it an even round. I would think LaMotta might have took that one. But Elwood gives it a 10-10 round. Again, that's unofficial. Let's go to the LaMotta corner first. As they're greasing up the face and rubbing his arms, he takes a swig of water. Joey Ferraello and Lou Duva saying, much better job, much better job, champ. Now to the Joey Maxim corner, which I control. We're going to want him to, again, fight outside defensively for another round. They're giving him a swig of water. They say, work the jab, Joey, work the jab. You're a bigger, stronger man on the inside. Back him up, rough him up. Punch stat numbers for round number two. Maxim landed 12 punches. Lamada really let his hands go this time. He landed 26. He worked. He threw a lot of jabs for him. Got on the inside and just was quicker. He was first, as they say. Be first, be first, be first. Here we go for round number three. Fighters off their stool. Center of the ring. And it's... A right, left, a left, right by Maxim. And now a left hook by Joey Maxim. Maxim letting his hands go first. Lamata trying to trudge in. Maxim continues to circle center of the ring. Slight movement. And there's a good one-two combination to the head. But Maxim comes right back digging to the body. 
Lamada misses with a wild uppercut. Maxim backs up to gain distance. Knee misses with a bolo punch. And he's countered by a solid right hand. And Maxim comes right back. They go toe to toe. Maxim going towards the ropes. Left hook misses by Lamada. Lamada trying to force Maxim back. Maxim slides away again. And he counters that missed left hook. Maxim working behind the jab beautifully again. Lamada misses. And Maxim counters with a one two. And there's the bell. That ends round number three, a highly effective round for Joey Maxim. Lamada did land a couple of solid blows, but a very good job by Joey Maxim. He actually backed up a bit, regrouped side to side, laying traps and nailing Jake Lamada. We go to the Lamada corner, but before we do that, to the scorecard. And that Elwood unofficial score. Gives that round number three, 10 9 for Maxim. After three rounds, he has it 30 to 28. Joey Maxim. We quickly go to the Lamada corner. They're working some end swell. I tell him, get on the inside and let your hands go. Maxim was highly effective in that round. Now over to the Maxim corner, which I control. We have no swelling or cuts. And I think we're going to stick with fight outside defensively. Let Maxim use his defense. He's a minus six. Plus fighting outside defensively gives us a better opportunity to have Lamada miss even more punches and counter. So we're going to confirm that. Let's go to punch stat numbers for round number three. It has Maxim landed 35 punches. Worked the hooks really nicely. Worked off the jab. And again, on the inside, used his uppercuts and his strength. Lamada landed 12. A couple of good stinging shots by Lamada. But not enough to win the round. We prepare for round number four. Maxim will fight outside defensively. Lamada trying to bore in, and he does. And he windmills and lands two punches. Lamada trying to press forward. Maxim circling. And he missed that shot. Maxim counters with a 1-2. Lamada again trying to get on the inside. Maxim just a little side-to-side -side movement. Bolo punch misses by Lamada. And Maxim comes right back. A hook to the body and up to the head with the uppercut. Lamada steps back a bit. Regroups. Misses with another wild uppercut. And he's countered with a 1-2 to the head by Maxim. Now another great jab by Maxim. Snapping Lamada's head. Lamada smiles at him. Under a minute to go. Maxim sizing him up. They're pawing with their punches. 40 seconds left in round number four. And Lamada digs the body and goes to the head. And now it's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. Both fighters rally. Five seconds, two seconds. There's the bell. That was a close round. In that toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange, both fighters rattled each other. But Lamada rattled Maxim a little more. That was a very close round. We go to the unofficial scorecard. And Elwood gives that close round to Joey Maxim. Maxim now up 40 to 37. That could have went either way that round. We go to the Lamada corner. Joey Ferriello and Lou Duva. And again, they're just working some slight end swell. They like the work they got from Lamada. They want him to continue it and pick up the pace even more. Now over to the Joey Maxim corner, which I control. I think, again, we're just going to stick outside defensively and counter. We'll confirm that. We have no abrasions or swelling so far. Let's go to the punch stat numbers for round number four. Highly uh, contested matchup here at Yankee Stadium. Light heavyweight champ Joey Maxim versus the middleweight champ. Jake LaMotta, Halloween night, 1950. Maxim again lands, landed 30 punches. LaMotta, again, his output was much better. He landed 20. He's got to watch out for those uppercuts. He has had some success, but when he misses, he leaves himself wide open. Maxim can throw all kinds of punches. He works well on the inside or outside. He's concentrating, working behind the jab right now. We come up to the first third of the bout. Round number five. We're going to fight outside defensively. And again, Lamada looks to bear, bore in. Lamada trying to be first, but Maxim nails him with a 1-2. Action center of the ring. Lamada 
Again, trying to get on the inside. Maxim parrying him away. They tie up. Goldstein breaks him. And then another quick one-two by Joey Maxim. Now another jab, snapping Lamada's head. And again, two straight jabs. Another jab. He's chewing up Lamada with those straight, educated jabs. Over and over again, snapping his head. That's going to swell up. And now Lamada comes back with a fierce one-two combination of the head. Under a minute to go, Joey digs to the body and up to the head. Maxim on the inside lets his hands go. 30 seconds to go. Maxim just opening up. He's the bigger, stronger man. Lamada cannot land. 15 seconds, 10 seconds. It's been all Joey Maxim. And again, a 1-2, and there's the bell. A huge round for Joey Maxim. He's going to wear down the Bronx Bull. The fans here at Yankee Stadium fiercely rooting for the New York native trying to inspire him that was a huge round for Joey Maxim he takes it 10-9 on the Elwood card he is now up after five rounds unofficially 50 to 46 we go to a very frustrated Jake LaMotta corner with Joey Ferriello the trainer and Lou Duva the cut man they give LaMotta some water and they're exhorting him you gotta start going kid you gotta start going champ Dig to the body, up to the head. Back him up to the ropes. Again, that's easier said than done. Maxim might not be a powerful puncher, but he's a strong boxer, physically. We go to the Maxim corner, which I control. And we're going to fight outside defensively, use our defensive skills and countering. We have no swelling or cuts whatsoever. Ray Arcel says, you're looking beautiful, champ. You're looking beautiful. Freddie Brown, a little grease work around the eyes. Let's go to the punch stat numbers for round number five. And a huge round for Joey Maxim. 60 punches. Land, my God, he used Jake LaMotta as his personal piñata. LaMotta only landed seven. He took a hellacious beating. My God, if Maxim could punch, the iron-chinned LaMotta might have went down. Now let's go to the conditioning. Looks okay. And now the traits. And you can see the endurance is fading on Jake LaMotta. Maxim still a lot of high endurance. So the wear out tactics of Joey Maxim are working. He's going to fight outside defensively. Here we go, round number six. And here comes the Bronx Bull. He's got to change the tide of battle. He wings an uppercut. He misses. And a one-two by Maxim Lands. Another educated jab by Joey Maxim. Snapping LaMotta's head back. That's going to cause some swelling. And there's a crisp one-two. Side-to-side -side movement from Joey Maxim. Now on the inside, he rips an uppercut through the LaMotta guard. Pawing with the jab is Maxim. Left hook misses. LaMotta bores in, and he lands two shots to the head. Another shot to the head. Maxim starts the back to the ropes. One minute left in round number six. Maxim comes forward, and LaMotta greets him with a left to the body and a right to the head. 20 seconds left in round six. It's an even round. Right hand misses by Maxim. LaMotta doesn't counter. Left hook misses by LaMotta. Another left hook misses, and there's the bell. A better round for Jake LaMotta. It's a close round. Could have went either way. Lamada was the aggressor, did back Maxim up towards the ropes at, at certain points, but Maxim fought his way back towards the center of the ring. Let's go to the unofficial scorecard, and he gives that round to Joey Maxim. He's given every round to Joey Maxim except for round two, which he called even. 10-9 Maxim in round six, 60-55 Joey Maxim. So Maxim easily right now handling the Bronx Bull on the unofficial scorecard of Mark E. Elwood of title belt championship boxing we go to the LaMotta corner they're happy with what their fighter did but again they're saying they want more of it more of it LaMotta not a big puncher and he went up he's stepping up in weight to try to wrest away the mid, the light heavyweight title from Joey Maxim they wanted to dig to the body more again no swelling or cuts to report from the LaMotta corner Duva works some end swell. Ferriello gives LaMotta some advice and some water. We now go to the Joey Maxim corner. And again, we're just going to fight outside defensively. We're not going to change our strategy now. Work behind the jab, counter. 
tie him up, work the uppercuts on the inside. Ray Arcel says, you're looking beautiful, champ. You're looking beautiful. Well, let's go to the punch stat numbers. Maxim landed 24 punches. Really didn't work behind the jab too much. He used a lot of hooks instead. And crisp combinations, which do actually involve the jab. So the one-twos. The single jabs weren't there, though. He was throwing combinations. Lamada landed 21, so a close round. And he has a better round when he stays away from the uppercuts. You can see he really didn't throw, or well, he didn't land any, but he didn't really throw too many uppercuts. He leaves himself wide open when he misses. As Lamada's stamina continues to wear down, we now prepare for round number seven. We're going to fight outside defensively. Lamada's going to try to bore in. Action ring center. Lamada comes in. Maxim throws an uppercut and misses. They tie up. Lamada rabbit punches. The referee breaks them. Goldstein admonishes Lamada a bit. And Lamada, a 1-2 to the head. He's not digging to the body. His corner wants him to go to the body. Ring center. That's where the action's taking place. Right, left. And a left misses by Maxim. Good defense by Lamada. Left hook misses by Lamada. Maxim pawing with a jab. Right hand misses by Lamada, and there's the counter. A counter hook by Joey Maxim. Under a minute to go. A, a slow paced round here. Fans getting a little antsy at Yankee Stadium. 15 seconds left. Not a lot of punches. Left hook misses. Maxim comes forward, and he crisp shots by Joey Maxim at the bell. Snapping Lamada's head back. Again, if Maxim had power, he might have dropped the Bronx Bull there. Another close round and that was the slowest paced round of the fight a few boo birds from the fans let's go to the unofficial scorecard once again mark elwood has given maxim another round 10-9 rinse and repeat for his scoring again these rounds could go the other way that's the unofficial score we don't know what the official scoring is we go to the lamada corner and they want him they want to know what the hell's wrong with them why are you not throwing punches Lamada seems frustrated, that's for sure. Now over to the Joey Maxim corner, which I control. We're going to go another round, fight outside defensively. We'll confirm that strategy. Let's check out the traits first. The endurance is still there for Jake, but we're wearing him down. We're still doing well with endurance. Punch stat numbers for both fighters. Only the only 12 punches landed by Maxim and only six for Lamada, but Lamada landed a couple of hard blows. Fighters might have took that round off. A lot of mauling and brawling in that round. We prepare for round number eight as we're almost halfway through this 15-round bout for the light heavyweight championship of the world, 1950 Halloween night at Yankee Stadium. As the middleweight champion Jake Lamada looks to step up and take the light heavyweight title from Joey Maxim. Here we go, round number eight. Will it be great for Lamada? Lamada rushes out of his corner and he meets Maxim at the center of the ring. He tries to bore in. Maxim just pushes him away. Side to side movement. A bolo uppercut misses. And Maxim comes back with a two punch combination, one to the body, and he splits the guard of, Ma of Lamada to the head. Maxim missed with a one, two. Lamada ducked away. A counter right misses by Lamada, and Maxim digs to the body. Now a crisp 1-2 by Maxim to the head. They tie up. Goldstein breaks him. 122 left in round number eight. And Lamada forces Maxim back. He hits him to the body. Maxim counters off the ropes with a jab. Lamada rigs center. Right hand lands on Joey Maxim. 30 seconds left in round number eight. Lamada looking to load up. They trade. Both fighters trade. And Maxim got the better of it. And there's a big shot by Jake Lamada. Maxim staggers, and there's the bell. Holy cow. What a shot by Lamada. Half hook, half uppercut, nailing Maxim on the chin. And unfortunately for the Bronx Bull, it came at the very end of round number eight. Maxim goes back to his corner as Arcel and Brown grab him. His leg's on Queer Street, and they have 60 seconds to get him off Queer Street. Let's go to the unofficial scorecard. And they, Mark 
Elwood still has not given a round to Jake LaMotta, and that could have went either way that round. 10-9, Maxim. Maxim comfortably ahead on the Elwood unofficial scorecard. We go to the Jake LaMotta corner, and again, bad luck if you're a Jake LaMotta fan. That thudding hybrid left hook uppercut landed right at the end of round number eight. For all the punches Maxim has placed on LaMotta's face, still no real swelling, no cuts. Lou Duver screaming at LaMotta saying, be first, be first. You heard him. You heard him. We can take this light heavyweight champion. Joey Ferriella reiter reiterates what Duva says. They're really trying to pump up the Bronx Bull. We go to a concerned Joey Maxim corner as he got tagged. And again, LaMotta not a big puncher at middleweight. Stepping up in weight. Just really tagged Maxim with a good shot. No swelling, no cuts. That's the good news. The bad news is they're trying to re revive Maxim in the corner. Clear his head. There's a little... Uh, they're using that salt, which is still legal in 1950, to try to snap him through. And I think we're going to fight outside defensively for one more round, and then we're going to go offense let's go to the traits lots of endurance for Maxim and we're still wearing down Jake LaMotta slow and steady but we're wearing him down punch stat numbers Maxim actually landed 30 punches not a lot on his oomph LaMotta 19 and again that big punch at the end of round 8 which staggered Joey Maxim badly We prepare for round number nine. Maxim will again fight outside defensively. Look to counter the Bronx Bull. Here we go. Can LaMotta continue with the pressure? LaMotta going all out for the KO. He comes swarming at Joey Maxim. He misses with big shots. Maxim doesn't counter. He just pushes him away. And now Maxim counters. LaMotta backs up but then again charges forward. Maxim keeping that distance. He misses with the one-two. LaMotta does not throw. Left hook misses by LaMotta. And there's two thudding jabs by Maxim. And now LaMotta lands a big right hand as he split Maxim's guard. A minute 30 left in round nine. Maxim comes back with two snapping jabs. LaMotta digs to the body. Action ring center. One minute to go. Left hook misses by LaMotta. The counter jab doesn't by Maxim. 40 seconds go. Another one two misses by LaMotta. But he's met with a crisp one two by Maxim. Left hook misses. Maxim comes forward and hits him. Five seconds. Maxim with a one-two at the bell. That right hand snapped Lamada's head. So a good rebound round for Joey Maxim. As he goes back to his corner, they are very happy with that rebound round. We go. That was a good round for Joey Maxim. A very good round after being rattled in round number eight at the end of that round. So round nine goes convincingly to Maxim. Mark L. Elwood. Unofficial scorecard, 90-82 Maxim. Another 10-9 round in round number nine for the light heavyweight champion, Joey Maxim. We go to a very frustrated Jake LaMotta corner. And again, a lot of punishment, just some normal wear and tear. No real swelling of note or any cuts. And they're telling him in his corner, you got to knock him out, Bull. You got to knock him out like you did to Dotiel. Like you did to Dotiel. They keep saying, like you did to Dotiel. You got to get him. You got to get him. Now over to the Joey Maxim corner. And now we're going to open up just a little bit. Fight outside offensively. Behind our jab. Lamada, his endurance is starting to wane. So now we're going to pick up the pace a bit. Even though... We have lots of endurance. Let's go to the punch stat numbers. LaMotta only landed 12 punches. Just cannot get on track. Maxim's cute little moves. He's an excellent boxer. Again, he doesn't get up on his toes. 
too much, but he, good side-to-side -side movement. Knows how to slide and roll with the punches and counters beautifully. He's a strong fighter, as I tell you. Can't punch hard. But again, this is a man who fought at heavyweight against the top heavyweights. He's a physically strong fighter. He landed 39 blows to Lamada's 12. Worked beautifully behind the jab. And on the inside, ripped those uppercuts. He is wearing the Bronx Bull down for slaughter. So we're going to open it up just a little more. We're going to fight outside. Uh, no, we want to fight outside offensively. Yep, confirm. Here we go. Round number 10. Can Lamada turn the tide of battle? Most ringside experts at this point don't believe so, but his fans who have packed Yankee Stadium still have faith. Here we go. Round number 10. Lamada comes rushing out, and he's met by two stern jabs by Maxim. Lamada trying to load up. Right hand misses, and Maxim with a crisp countering hooks. Another counter hook. And he steps back to gain space. Lamada comes forward. Looking to land a go-home punch. That left hook missed. And Maxim nails him with a 1-2. Those hooks are educated by Joey Maxim. A minute 30 to go in round number 10. Maxim laying the traps. Lamada coming forward. Lamada has not landed any significant blows yet. A minute to go. They tie up. Maxim forces him back towards the center of the ring. Lamada frustrated. A vicious combination by both fighters. And Maxim got the better of it. Now Lamada digs to the body. 30 seconds ago, Lamada backing Maxim to the ropes. He's letting his hands go. Now Lamada windmills. Maxim feels those punches. Maxim comes back with a one-two as he fights his way off the ropes. A good action-packed round in round number 10. Could that be the last hurrah for Jake Lamada? Unofficial scorecard, rinse and repeat. 10-9 for Joey Maxim on the Elwood card. He's now up 191. So the bigger, stronger fighter is winning this bout quite handily on the unofficial scorecard. There's some close rounds there that could have went either way. We go to the Lamada corner, and they're just saying you got to knock him out. They just keep saying you got to knock him out. Again, Lamada not a big puncher at middleweight. Now he's stepping up to light heavyweight. He did rattle Maxim at the end of round eight, and unfortunately for him and his fans in his corner... It was at the end of round eight. We go to the Maxim corner, which I control, and we're going to go with fight outside offensively. We have worn down Jake Lamada sufficiently enough, I believe, that now we can just open up a little more offensively and look to try to TK Holm late in this bout. We confirm fight outside offensively. Let's go to the traits. We still have plenty of endurance. Bigger, stronger. And Lamada's endurance is waning. It is waning. This could be a heck of a win for Joey Maxim if he can stop the Bronx Bull. Punch stat numbers. 35 punches landed by Joey Maxim as he just totally out slugging Lamada. But Lamada gave it his all in that round. 24 punches. As he tried, as he was going all out for that knockout. Here we prepare for round number 11. Ding, ding goes the bell. Fighters off their stool. Lamada again races out towards him. Maxim, but Maxim lands a 1-2. Maxim backs up, and both fighters exchange. Both punches exchange. Lamada, now he's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Maxim. Maxim backs up a bit. He lands a 1-2. Lamada comes forward, and Lamada lands. A big punch, big punch. Now Maxim comes right back. They're going toe to toe as Maxim is trying to back up. Lamada presses 40, missed with that left hook. A minute to go. Again, toe to toe exchange by both fighters. Maxim got the better of it. Maxim trying to circle. Lamada pressing. Lamada pressing. They tie up. Maxim walks him back towards the center of the ring. 30 seconds to go. Lamada really going for it. Two jabs by Maxim. Lamada comes back with a one two. Not a lot on those punches, and there's the bell unbelievable round unbelievable round no quit by Jake LaMotta but he just doesn't have the punch right now to hurt Joey Maxim it seems let's go to the unofficial scorecard that could went either way and a, now that's a 10-10 round on the Elwood card so he has it 110 Maxim 101 LaMotta with rounds 12, 13, 14, and 15 yet to come. 
We go to the Jake LaMotta corner. They're much happier with LaMotta. LaMotta let his hands go. He just cannot hurt the stern Joey Maxim. They're saying knock him out, knock him out, knock him out. They know that's an uphill battle. LaMotta, not, again, not a big puncher at middleweight. And he's stepping up to try to wrest the light heavyweight title away from Joey Maxim. No swelling of note or any cuts on Jake LaMotta. He takes a swig of water as they continue to exhort him to come on, come on, champ. We go to the Joey Maxim corner, which I control. And we're going to go back to fighting outside defensively as LaMotta is getting a few too many shots on us. And we seem to have a pretty good lead unofficially. So again, we'll go back to countering offensively, uh, outside defensively, excuse me. We'll confirm that strategy. I'm playing as, J um, as Joey Maxson. We have plenty of endurance left. Lamada's all but out. He's fighting on heart, looking for that second win in that miracle go-home punch. Punch stat numbers. Maxim landed 42, and Lamada landed 38 in what was a hellacious round of fisticuff and pugilistic activity. There we go for round number 12. Lamada going all out for the KO. Maxim will step back and counter. They tie up center of the ring. Ruby Goldstein breaks him. Action ring center. Lamada trying to load up. He misses with a hook. Maxim does not counter. And now there's a good one two on the inside by Lamada. Lamada trying to force Maxim back. He lands to the body. Maxim has not thrown anything yet. Maxim continues pawing with that jab. Lamada presses forward, lands a one-two. Joey pushes him away. Both fighters exchange, but Lamada got the better of it, and Maxim didn't land. Now Lamada hurts Maxim. Lamada hurts Maxim. He buckles him, right hand misses him. Maxim digs to the body, pushes Lamada away. 30 seconds ago, Lamada trying to load up. Lamada lands with a right hand. Maxim still on Queer Street. 10 seconds ago, Maxim pawing with his jab. He throws two jabs out there, and there's the bell. A huge round for Jake LaMotta, nearly taking the light heavyweight champion off his feet. But Maxim stood up to the punishment. What guts by Jake LaMotta. That's why they call him the Bronx Bull. Let's go to the unofficial scorecard. And finally, Mark L. Elwood gives LaMotta a round. Round 12 goes to Jake LaMotta, 10-9. The best round of the fight for Jakey we go to a very happy Jake LaMotta corner they know their way down but that was LaMotta's best effort as they're saying the dam's gonna crack Jake the dam's gonna crack Timber no swelling of note they do work some light end swell Lou Dub on both eyes and there are no cuts on LaMotta they're saying Go for it, go for it, Bull, go for it. Now we go to the Joey Maxim corner. We have a little concern here. Maxim really got rattled. And we're going to go fight outside offensively. Because if some of those close rounds went the other way, this could be a close bout. So we want Maxim to be a little more offensive from the outside traits we still have plenty of endurance for these final championship rounds 13 14 and 15 Lamada's endurance is out that does affect him but he is fighting on heart guile and determination the fans at Yankee Stadium loving this bout and they're hoping their hometown hero hero can take the light heavyweight title away from Joey Maxim punch stat numbers and for round 12 Maxim, a poor output of 12. Lamada, 36 punches as he really went for it. Here we go for the hard luck round, round 13. There's the bell. Both fighters out the stool. And Lamada comes right at Maxim. Maxim digs to the body. Maxim's trying to be first. Maxim steps back, plants the trap, and lands the jab and the right hand. Another jab right hand by Maxim. Maxim digs to the body, pushes Lamada away. Lamada is being tagged left and right. Lamada has not landed anything. He keeps coming forward. Now Maxim ties him up. They break. Lamada trying to load up, but he can't. Maxim being first with his hands. Another one-two by Joey Maxim. Maxim slides back, ties up Lamada. Maxim again sets the trap. Lamada comes forward, and he is hurt to the body. He nailed Lamada to the body. Under a minute to go. It's been all Joey Maxim. That educated jab snaps the bull's head. 
Maxim just pumping that jab over and over again. Lamada's face 30 seconds ago. They tie up. The fans exhorting Lamada trying to land the go home punch. And there's the bell. A wild right hand misses. It was a huge round for Joey Maxim as he regains command. After a terrific round number 12 by Lamada, he could not sustain the effort as Joey Maxim just continued to pump that educated jab into Lamada's face. That round easily to Joey Maxim. Mark Elwood agrees. 10 9 Maxim with six minutes of boxing to go. After 13 rounds, Joey Maxim 129, Jake Lamada 120. And now we have some swelling finally of significance on the Lamada eye. 6% swelling on the left eye. Duva going to work on that. Joey Ferriello says, You got six minutes to knock him out. We move to the Joey Maxim corner. And with that, Maxim will go back to fighting outside defensively after reestablishing control. We'll confirm that. Punch that numbers. All oh, Joey Maxim. He just beat Lamada to a pulp, landing 54 punches. Goldstein was looking on. Goldstein is late to stopping fights, but... Lamada took a lot of punishment, but his knees never buckled. He does have that swelling. Let's see if Maxim can land a few more, though. He's well ahead on points, in my opinion. It's a closer. I have it closer than the unofficial score. Again, Lamada out of endurance. Maxim still with plenty of in his, in his tank with the final six minutes of the bout. Here we go, round number 14. Can Lamada pull off a biblical miracle? They tie up ring center. Goldstein breaks him. Lamada again going all out for the KO, and he's met by two hooks to the head from Maxim. Ring center, and there's Maxim. Came forward. Lamada countered him. Now Lamada trying to lay the traps. Big left hook missed by Lamada. A one-two by Maxim. Lamada backs up. He's tired. Maxim digs to the body. Maxim trying to force him back. He continues to work Lamada's body. And there are big shots. Big shots. Lamada's swelling is getting worse. Goldstein steps into a monish. Lamada for holding and hitting. It's a close round. 45 seconds left in round number 14. Lamada trying to land that one go home punch. They tie up. 23 seconds left. Lamada trying to rally, but Maxim lets his hands go. And again, he lets his hands go at the bell. He lands two crisp combinations in the final 15 seconds to take a close round. There was a really big exchange there. Both fighters rattled one another. But I think Maxim got the best of it. The swelling's getting worse on that eye for Jake Lamada. Let's go to the unofficial scorecard. And he gives that a 10-10 round. Again, this fight could be much closer than he has it. Three 10-10 rounds. If he give those to Lamada, plus some close rounds. We have three more minutes of boxing. We go to the Lamada corner. And that swelling's 31% now. 31%, but there's only three more minutes. Goldstein is looking at it but he's going to let it go obviously three more minutes in this epic championship matchup from yankee stadium 1950 what if promotions halloween eve halloween night excuse me now we go to the joey maxim corner and we're going to fight outside offensive defensively one more time confirm that I think we have the lead we don't want to do anything foolish here three minutes we stand up I believe we win this fight though I think it's closer than in the unofficial scorecard Elwood has it let's go to punch stat numbers again Maxim a good output 42 punches landed Lamada 19 Lamada needs a knockout. Maxim needs to stand up, and he wins, in my opinion. Though I have it closer. I keep saying that. I believe this bout is closer than the unofficial scorer Mark Elwood has. it. Here we go. The final three minutes of boxing. Fighters touch gloves at ring center, and it's an all-out knockout attempt by Lamada. Lamada lands a 1-2, another 1-2, but not a lot on those punches. Maxim puts a head right into 
Uh, Lamada's hat puts his head right into Lamada's head. And there's a big right hand by Lamada. Maxim is hurt. Maxim is hurt. Lamada windmills. Maxim trying to clear his head. A minute 45 left in the bout. Lamada wings a punch. Maxim pushes him away. Maxim now regains control with a 1-2. One, 1 minute and 19 seconds left in the bout. Lamada misses with a bolo punch. A minute to go. Lamada misses with a left right. Maxim just parrying the punches away. Lamada throwing and missing. Maxim slides side to side. 30 seconds to go. Maxim ties him up. 29 seconds to go. 19 seconds. Big hook misses by Lamada. He is countered with a 1-2 by Maxim. And there's the bell. There is the bell. The fighters hug. And this bout is over. It goes to the scorecards. Lamada probably took round 15. He did land one big combination. But Maxim was able to parry away most of the blows. Side to side movement. A tremendous defensive fighter that Joey Maxim is. We go to the unofficial scorecard one last time. And Mark Elwood gives that round to Lamada 10 9. So. Mark Elwood, the unofficial scorer, has Joey Maxson retaining his title 148 140, a 15 round decision. But now we go to the official scorecards to see what happens. And it's Johnny Addy with the call. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges have tallied their scorecards, and here is your decision. Artie Idella scores about 147-140. That should be good for Maxim, I would think. Tommy Hart scores it 147-140. Dick Young has it 146-140. to 140. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and still light heavyweight champion of the world, Joey Maxim. So the better big man beats the better small man. Joey Maxim wins a unanimous decision, scores 147-140, 147-140, 146-140. And our what-if matchup that never took place in reality. Let's continue. Joey Maxim retains his title. And we will, for ha-has, update the record, even though this is a mythical bout. And let's look at the punches. Punches landed. Joey Maxim landed 475. Lamada 265. Maxim landed approximately 31 punches per round. Lamada approximately 17. Maxim landed at 60, almost a 63% clip. Lamada landed just under 20%. You can't win that way, especially if you're not a big puncher. So the, the toughness, the strength, and defensive guile of Joey Maxim and his overall size easily defeats Jake LaMotta. There were some anxious times for Joey, but Jake just didn't have the strength or the power stepping up from his middleweight championship to try to wrest away the light heavyweight champions from Joey Maxim. And on this Halloween, 1950 Halloween night, it is Joey Maxim who plays trick and treat on Jake LaMotta. So there you have it. Joey Maxim retains... His title, and at the end, he lumped up Lamada pretty good with that swelling. As Collectaholic at ringside says, nice, great match. Well, thank you very much, my friend. Hope you enjoyed it. And whoever watches later, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a what-if matchup. It's been on my mind. I wanted to do it, and it's late in the evening or early morning, wherever you are, and I figured I could just do this, enjoy it. I do this the boxing I like to do for myself because I like to listen to it over the what if matchup. So thank you very much to Cart Collectaholic. Check out that wonderful card collecting channel. And uh, remember to stay safe, be smart. We'll get through this coronavirus together. God bless, health, and happiness. You know it's coming, folks. Peace. Love you all. Joey Maxim retains his light heavyweight title. 
against Jake LaMotta's bid. To rest it away, the middleweight champion comes up short. He loses a unanimous decision.